It's the 2000 Guineas. I'm delighted that we've got Sylvester D'Souza on the line with us. We've got no Luke Tarr. Our trio is down to two. So we are talking small fields this week. We're, we're a small field here for the Zoom room. New market small fields. Is it the ground seal? There's only, there's only I think, I think five of the eight races have got seven or less runners. Is, is it is it because the ground's too quick? And the, we, ha we hardly had any rain in New Market, Bill. So I presume the ground will be fast. And, uh, you know, it's all down to the clock of the course to put, a, you know, to look after the ground well for, for Wars, for the Guineas. But, uh, you know, I presume the ground will be in the far in the fast side anyway. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he's put 18 mils of water on, I think, in the early parts of the week, but it's still good to firm. Um, no John Gosden runner at all on Saturday, only one for Sir Michael Stout. Um, but it is, it is the big days racing. Yeah, it's a classic day, like, you know, and probably that's all down because it will be fast ground, you know, and they got so many good horse, probably they want to, to don't want to do any damage on them so early. It's plenty more races for them to race in. But, you know, on a classic day, you know, either go on a fast ground than go on a soft ground. Yeah, you'd much rather have that, those conditions. But well, before we talk about the guineas itself, there's lots of talk about draw bias and, and, and the golden highway up against the standside rail. Do you jockeys wait and see after the first race or is there just this mad maneuver where everyone wants to try and get across to the stand side rail well in, in a classic day will be plenty jockeys walking the courses so the trainers as well so they always give us kind of indicate and where to go where they like to see the horses running so sometimes we try to fall that but at the same time we take the consideration to watch the first few races to see where the best ground are you know Okay, so we'll be looking at the first few races, but for you, you ride Mystery Smiles, who is a hundred to one chance in the 2000 Guineas, the 340. Um, doesn't feel, we've spoken about it, doesn't feel like a hundred to one chance. It was a good run in the Craven. Yes, and I thought it would be a lot of less than that, you know, probably, on, you know, when I saw he opened up like a hundred to one, I, I, I was surprised, and, uh, but he when I don't think he's a horse, he should be a hundred to one, probably, you know, 30 trees or, you know, below that, like, you know. I mean, and, he's got a bit of ground to make up on, on Master of the Seas, but you must have been pleased with that Craven run because he stuck to the task. I mean, there were, there were doubts over staying the mile, but he ran all the way to the line and he, and he was closing potentially at the end. Yes, was, yeah. Consider like it wasn't much pace on the race and the, the race turned to be kind of a sprinter race from four down. And I was happy with the performance and, you know, master of the seas and, you know, he put a good show out there that day, but uh, I'm happy with the performance, you know, and for a horse finished third in the Graven and probably didn't have a hard race. And, you know, when you see he's open, up in the bet and 100 to one, you, you kind of shock a bit, but the bookmakers never wrong. <laughs> the bookmakers are never wrong. You're right. Um, looking at the, at the dangers and I will ask you for, for, for who, who you would, who would use rate as your biggest danger in a second. As a I, there's a, there's a whole I think thing. battleground, you know, and I don't think Aidan O'Brien will, will put Frank Tittori and, and anything doesn't have a chance. So I think battleground will be one of the big dangerous ones. Okay, so of those Irish Colts, there's obviously they've got Wembley, they've got Thunder Moon um, and, and battleground. Um, it's battleground for you, a son of Warfront, obviously the experience of running in America. Frankie, yes. the super sub that comes in for those Bally Doyle horses, he would be he would be the one you rate as the biggest danger. I'd say so. I'd say so. And uh, you know, obviously you got the the Craven winning, but uh, you know, Battleground is still standing at the top of my list. Okay, so Mystery Smiles is gonna win it. Battleground's yeah. gonna be the one that comes out the pack to chase you home. Um from where I sit. I, I think Thunder Moon is, is, is a huge player and Charlie Hills' is horse that won at the course, Muta Masek or Muta Sabek. I think that's a, that's a player too. But a wide open race. Quickly before we wrap up, just looking at your other rides, you kick off in the first. Uh, a, a nice ride there for Mark Johnson in If You Dare. Yes, and good form, second one, come back, finish second again. And, you know, Midland Park like to have winners in a big meeting and it's nice to see you know they give me a call to ride this horse you know he's only three year old little racing so you know he's been doing all his work in the old weather so but it comes to the turf now okay well we'll, we'll, we'll see how he gets on he's obviously got creative force um up against him and then looking at your 
other two rides. You've got two nice rides uh, for King Power. In the 415, you're riding Chill Chill. She, she kind of prepared for this with a nice second at the track. Yes, and uh, she ran a good a good race first time out this year. And uh, probably she just need, need a run to get the rust off her. And, uh, you know, I'm happy small field suits the filly. She likes to be held up and a nice small field. I think she could she could do better. OK, and then your final ride of the day comes in the last, Long Lie, who won really well recently um, after being gelded. I think that's the, the, that seems to have made a big difference with him. Yes, and it was a good performance of Long Line, and he won at Beverly. He won very well, and uh, I don't think he, that day he particularly liked the ground. It was given good to fair, but was plenty of water on the ground and kind of was patches on the ground, you know, and he galloped out well that day, but he never felt comfortable. I think on a fast gro in a fast track, in a fast ground, I think he could do better. Okay. Your best chance of the day of those four rides, your, your pick? And probably long line and chill chill. Okay. Long line, chill chill, your best two chances. Not yep. mystery smiles. Uh, hope you ride Well, that. and uh, I think we could be there chasing each way chance in a hundred to one. It'd be nice. Okay. So each way chance, mystery smiles. Uh, all the latest prices on starsports.bet. There's a whole lot of offers. There's the pipped offer. There's loads of things to look out for. Silv, good luck on Saturday. Thank you so much. Thank you.